Hello friends, let us start with this new chapter, Introduction to Microbiology. Which different microbes are used to us, useful to us? So, Lactobacillus is one of the useful bacteria. <clears throat> Rhizobium is there, Bacillus thuringiensis. There are some bacteria which are used for making antibiotics. We are going to learn about these bacteria in this chapter. First of all, let us see what is micro applied microbiology. Branch of biology in which study of enzymes related to prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Now prokaryotes are very old type of organisms. They have very simple structure. And eukaryotics are relatively new. Enzymes. You might be knowing what are enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts. They do not take part into the chemical reaction, but they increase the speed of reaction. And biological catalysts are nothing but enzymes. Enzymes are special proteins. So, branch of biology, which is study of enzymes related to some prokaryotes and eukaryotic microbes, proteins, applied genetics, microbiology, etc. is performed. Is called as applied microbiology. This study is used for society and various products, food, medicine on a large scale with the help of microorganisms. So what we are essentially doing is we are studying the microbes and using it for our benefit. Now, industrial microbiology. So it's related to the commercial use of microbiology. Suppose in industry you are producing some things in mass. So things are produced in on very large scale. At that place, if you use microbes, it's called as industrial microbiology. Now, what are the main features of this? First is production of bread, cheese, wine, raw material by fermentation process. Some enzymes, nutrients and medicines are also produced. Use of microbes for garbage management. This is a very important thing. Garbage management and pollution control. Let us start with the products that are used, that are made from these microbes. Number one is dairy product. That is, in, a, in, a, in ancient times, people were using this yogurt. How it was made? They used to take the milk and put it into the skin of animals. Because of the bacteria that was present in the animal body, it was converted into fermented milk, which was yogurt. During fermentation process of milk, the proteins coagulate, they come together. Now, cheese, butter, cream, kefir, yogurt, etc. used. So, kefir is nothing but a fermented milk. Water content and acidity of the milk changes during formation of these products and texture, taste and flavor is improved. So water content changes. So milk essentially is made up of water and proteins. Most of it. Minerals, vitamins are there but they are in very less amount. So when fermentation take, takes place, when this chemical reaction takes place because of microbes, the proteins are coagulated. For production of most of the milk products, bacteria in milk itself are used. Only cheese is produced with the help of fungi. Basic process of yogurt, cheese, cream is same. Milk is pasteurized. Now what is the meaning of pasteurization? You heat the milk at high temperature and reduce the temperature suddenly. How is this useful? When you heat milk, it kills the bacteria which are unwanted. When you suddenly cool it, again they die. Microorganisms are living things, remember. They are like us. They cannot survive at very high temperatures or very low temperatures. Their growth is reduced at low temperatures. So what you have to do is take the milk and heat it and suddenly cool it. This process is called as pasteurization. Shelf life of these products can be improved. You can keep it for a very long time. It is then fermented with the help of lactobacilli. So lactobacilli is the name of a bacteria. In this process, lactose sugar is converted into lactic acid and milk products and coagulated with the help of with the help of lactic acid. So proteins are coagulated with the help of this. Besides compounds, taste and flavor are also formed. 
diacetyl as the flavor of butter. So some chemicals are added to get the flavor. Now yogurt product. Yogurt is a milk product produced with the help of lactobacilli inoculant for maintaining protein content milk powder is also added it gives the consistency to the milk thickness streptococcus thermophilus lactobacillus delbrucki are added one is to one proportion lactic acid is formed because of streptococcus which makes the protein very thick acetaldehyde like compounds are formed which gives the taste now butter two types of butter sweet cream and cultured are produced on large scale microbes are used for production of cultured variety now cheese production so you might have eaten various types of cheese many of the food products have cheese on it so cheese is produced on large scale from abundantly available cow's milk over the world all over the world so some colors and microbes like lactobacillus lactis, lactobacillus cremoris and thermophilus are added to milk. It imparts sourness to the milk. And enzyme rennet also which is obtained from elementary canal of cattle was being added. But these days an enzyme protease is obtained from fungi is used to produce vegetarian cheese. Whey is separated from yogurt which has some other uses. Then process of production of cheese is started through steps like cutting the solid yogurt into pieces, washing, rubbing, salting and mixing with essential microbes, pigments and flavors. So what you are doing is, you are taking the milk, fermenting it, whatever solid mass remains, you cut it into pieces, squeeze the water out, whatever remains, you salt it, you put the microorganisms and let it be like that for a very long time. So during industrial production of milk, strictness, sterilization is essential as bacteria can be attacked by virus. So virus resistance to strains of bacteria are used for this. Virus resistant strains, group of bacteria, which are not at attacked by virus. Now remember virus is smaller than bacteria, so virus can attack bacteria and kill it. Freshly prepared cheese is always soft, cottage cheese, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese. On storing, 3 to 12 months, semi-hard cheddar cheese is found. Whereas 12, after ripening for 12 to 18 months, very hard cheese, that is Parmesan cheese is found. So they are told us the different types of cheese. Now let us go to probiotics. What are probiotics? Probiotics are organisms, they are bacteria which are present. There are some bacteria which are present in our gut, in our intestine and probiotics are active bacteria which we drink, which go in our body and which restores the balance of the different microbes present in our intestine. Sometimes because of some problems, some disease, this balance is not proper. So doctors give us this probiotic which contains the essential bacteria, the good bacteria which helps a digestion process. So pro probiotics are nothing but these bacteria. So active bacteria, lactobacilli, acidophilus, lactobacillus, AC, etc. Microbes maintain the balance in our intestine. So unwanted bacteria and their products, their poisons, they are neutralized, they are reduced with the help of good bacteria. So they are available in various forms. Yogurt is there, kefir is there, kefir remember is a fermented milk again. So chocolate, different flares are there. These products from colonies of useful microbes in the alimentary canal. In our intestine they form colonies which control the other microbes, their activity and all. So it is good for us. Now bread, different types of bread are produced from flour of cereals. So if you take wheat, it contains carbohydrate. When carbohydrate is mixed, means this wheat is mixed with water, it produces, it gives thickness, it has interconnection. And when you heat this, in presence of yeast, carbon dioxide is released. 
Now this yeast can have two ways. It can either do it aerobically or anaerobically. Aerobically it uses oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide get taps, trapped into the bread and gives the texture of the bread. bread. <coughs> Saccharomyces cerevisiae, water, salt and other materials with flour. Due to fermentation of carbohydrates by yeast, sugar is converted into carbon dioxide and ethanol. Dough rises up to cause CO2 and bread becomes spongy. Compressed yeast is used in commercial bakeries, dissolvable in dry granular form in domestic use. So you get a packet of yeast, that is compressed yeast. Now this is a fungi. What you have to do is put it in warm water and shake a little bit. They become active, that is called as activated cheese. And then put it with the flour and water and keep it at normal temperature. It, the flour will start rising. That is because the carbon dioxide which is produced by fermentation uh, by the yeast gets trapped in it. Due to this bread and other products the help of yeast become nutritive. So they contain a lot of fats. They contain various contents like carbohydrate, protein, fats, vitamins, minerals that is good for us. Due to this bread and becomes nutritious Ingredients like vinegar, soya sauce and monosodium glutamate that is used presently as popular Chinese food are used by micro, are produced by microbial fermentation. Now next product that they are talking about is vinegar. 